So are we only going to play games from the 1001 games you must play before you die? That's the plan. Well, what if we wanted to play games that weren't on the list? Well, I guess we'd need a completely different show. <laughs> he had it coming. He did. All right. So. Playing Aladdin. We're playing Aladdin. The Sega Aladdin, not the I Super tried Nintendo to, Aladdin. I uh, I tried to talk tried to talk him into playing X Men instead because you know he said Disney and now that applies, but uh, he was dead set on this. Well, just because, I mean, after playing games that um, I mean I didn't know or I wasn't very good at, I wanted to play a game that I I was good at that I could rock hard, like I am, all the time. Uh oh okay. Yeah. I'm. Yep. I think I, I think I should go. <laughs> have I have I made this uncomfortable? So, well, I mean, now I'm hard, and that's just gonna get weird. Oh, oh dear. So, a couple reasons that uh, that well, a I'm good at this game. B a I tried to start on fucking B. I don't even know how to alphabet. Um. So a um we had uh, a Genesis growing up. So I mean, if you want to talk about where my fanboy love lies my fanboy loyalty i guess uh i'm kind of a sega kid although i will i'm i'm not above admitting that when it comes to the console war between fucking sega and nintendo oh man did nintendo win um but we had i don't know if we had this game or we rented this game we rented this did game. we okay and fucking love it it also helps that aladdin is my personal favorite disney movie out of all of them, whenever I think about how awesome Disney is, I'm thinking about Aladdin. See, and the funny thing is, mine's a little bit of a, mine used to be Aladdin, but I think I've changed it to a newer one. Really? Which one? Emperor's New Groove. Oh, it's a good one. But uh, I may be. It's one of the only like aside from aside from their new 3D stuff, which I still love. Like I love Tangled. Yeah. Um, we were talking about it earlier that I I think that Tangled sort of flew under the radar compared to Frozen, but I think that Tangled's way better than Frozen. Frozen's still fucking good. And when I say it's way better, I don't mean Frozen's <laughs> bad. I just mean, man, Tangled was good and Frozen was you know Frozen was Frozen. So like awesome, but not Tangled. Yeah. I feel like Frozen got the got the accolades that Tangled deserved. Really? Yeah. Uh, that's going to be a controversial opinion. I hope you're ready for that. Eh, eh people can be wrong on the internet all they like. <laughs> all right. Uh, so I'm just going to buy a life here. Um, but aside, like, in, in when we're talking about the 2D animated ones, em Emperor's New Groove is just the best. I mean, that's a solid choice. No lie. Now, Why do we even have that lever? <laughs> oh, Yzma. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then, they, that's such a good scene, and I love that they bring it back to it later. Why do they even have that lever? Yeah. Hmm. And plus, I think that may be the best thing that David Spade did in his career. Because <laughs> now they're just going back to Joe Dirt 2, which is a terrible plan. Unfortunately, I am not super great at this fucking bonus level. Um... But I, Disney kind of went through a fucking second renaissance. I mean, they did great in, obviously, like, the 60s and the 50s and even the 40s. And fuck, the 30s. Um, Disney was doing amazing stuff for years and years and years. But then in the 70s and 80s, they kind of lost their way a little bit. But then when they came back and I think... I think most people agree that it started with Little Mermaid. Like, their second renaissance is what people like to call it. But, uh... From Little Mer fuck. From Little Mermaid to I would say Lion King. Some people would say P Pocahontas, but I'm gonna say Lion King. Oh God, Pocahontas! I tried because I don't think I ever. I don't remember ever watching it as a kid. Yeah. But we like, didn't. I went back and watched Pocahontas again. It's terrible. Oh God, it's so boring. Yeah. No, it's horrible. It's so boring. But a lot of people, uh, a lot of people like it. I'm I'm not big on it. You know what I do like? What? Mulan. Mulan's pretty sweet. And I don't remember how long after that Mulan was, but they had sort of a second renaissance in in the early 90s there with fucking, uh, like I said, Little Mermaid, then Beauty and the Beast, which I'm not huge on, but I mean, again, uh, it won the Oscar for best song. Um, then Aladdin, then Lion King. That series right there got them like a lot, a lot of good press. And I mean, those movies are, are classics. I'm... I don't know. I Are you kind of mad on the Lion King? I kind of am. 
Um, I mean, I think uh, Little Mermaid's cool. I think um, Beauty and the Beast is pretty good. Uh, Aladdin is fucking magic from beginning to end. And then Lion King's pretty good. So when I say that there was like a second Disney renaissance, I mean, there was some okay movies that bookended the best Disney movie ever for me. Um, and then they, they hit a bit of a, like, to us, I think, because, like you said, some people did, like, Pocahontas. Yeah. Um, to us, it sort of, they hit a slump and then came back with things like fucking Emperor's, Emperor's New, New Groove, Groove Mulan. Um, and then well, they started with the with the 3D stuff, which they've been just nailing. <coughs> I will say this. Mulan is good for one reason, one reason alone. Is it Be A Man? It is fucking Be A Man. That song is amazing. Like, straight up, I watched that movie just for that scene. Oh, and Hercules. We completely left out Hercules. Oh, yeah, Hercules Which is, is actually good. a oh. surprisingly good movie. Uh, it's a movie that I always expect to be shit, and then it isn't. We we forgot another one, too. Hmm. Uh, fucking Tarzan, which is... Meh. I think there's a reason we forgot that one. Yeah, it's completely forgettable. Now, uh, first of all, one of my favorite things about this... Uh, what, what, what Disney thing do you see here? Oh, Jesus, the... Fucking Goofy, bro. Yeah. You know why that's important? Hmm. Whoop! That's the secret. That's how you get to there. Also, there's a couple other things. I think I might have missed a couple, so I'm just going to buy a couple lives and then drop down here. Uh, I think there's still a couple more Easter eggs in this level. And that's one of the reasons I love this game is because this was actually made... The big difference between this and the Super Nintendo one is this was made... Uh, with the Disney animators. So, like, if you were to ask the Disney animators which uh, which of these two games was the the legit one, it would be it would be the second one. As opposed to the Super Nintendo one, for yeah. anybody who sort of missed that. Did I not say that? There. Oh, I don't sorry. think you did. Uh, so, gentlemen, ladies, genies, uh, and also, uh, oh, did I miss it? I did. You can get an extra man back towards the beginning of the level. There's a clothesline with Mickey ears on it. And if you stand so that the Mickey ears uh, sit on top of Aladdin's head, an extra man appears. It's like a really well put together game. I love it. And see, I'm I'm kind of mad on it. I It's you... not a bad game, but I never really, I don't have any love for it. For this one? Yeah. You dick. I know. <laughs> Uh, I guess, I guess I understand. I don't know. I just, again, this is a game that I loved playing when we were kids and I still love now. It's just. And see, I didn't really play this one a huge amount when we were kids. We beat it. We beat it in the time. A lot of people say that this game is like super difficult and shit, which I do not understand because this is a game we beat as kids. And then, I mean, since I've been playing it as an adult, it just seems easy to me. But I've seen, like, you know, the Fine Brothers and the whole React channel thing, right? Nope. Oh. You've never seen the React channel? Nope. You are not on YouTube a lot, are you? Nope. Okay. All right. So I, I watch, like, two or three channels on YouTube. So there's a channel that's just called the React channel, which is basically what you would expect it to be. They get, like, kids and old people. To, uh, I mean, the old people. Oh, I think I've seen one episode of that. I think I've seen the kids react to Nintendo. Yeah. Where... Arya Stark couldn't had troubles yep. with uh that's the one that's exactly the channel so a little while ago they had them play this and they couldn't pass the first level and well they also did <laughs> to be fair they thought that a, a Nintendo was a Game Boy yes but I mean you can't expect kids who were born in like fucking 1995 to know things that were around in 1985 yeah I mean in the same way that you can't expect kids who were born in 1987 to know what an Intellivision is um well, no, but, I mean, we had one, and it was only five years old at that point. As opposed to, like, this, which would have been... Well, okay, I guess that's a decent point. <laughs> like, I suddenly realized how wrong I was, and had to backtrack. Because um, even even if they didn't have one, they should know what, like, a Super Nintendo was. Yeah. Because, you know, that was 1991. Still... Yeah, and that went until, what, 96, 97? Uh, yeah, 96, I think. Cause... So, I mean, if they if they, they should know what a Super Nintendo is, at worst, a Nintendo 64, so they should have an idea as to what a fucking Nintendo looks like. Yeah, that's true. Um... Kids these days! <laughs> you just labeled yourself as an also, old also, fucking Also, also, hold man. on, hold on. Yeah? They also need to get off my lawn. Oh, okay, good. Uh, Laura always tells me that we need to get a porch so that I can yell at kids to get off my lawn. Excellent. You know that you're not that old, right? 
I am in trouble. I lost more health than I was supposed to here, and uh, I may die. Can I? Can I be an asshole? Sure. I thought you said you were good at this game. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> On the other hand, yeah. Oh shit, he's gonna get me, isn't he? Ah, yeah. Okay, no, that's bad. All right. Uh, I think there's health coming up here. Oh, and there's that extra man back there that I can't get to now. Fuck. I done goofed. Um, what is he? Okay, he's holding a sword. It kind of looked like it did not look like a sword there. What did it look like? I don't know. Like a feather? Okay, I'm in trouble. I don't know if I can take two hits. We'll find out. Ready? Can you throw an apple directly up? I cannot. I can only throw them forward. Ouch. God damn it! All right, well, the good news is, is I'm starting right back here, because I got the genie bottle. And I will start grace, grace, gracefully by getting hit. Good job. Yep, no, I nail it. Every time. Okay, so it's going to give me this extra man, so it's basically like I didn't lose life at all. Yeah, no, I mean, I didn't see anything. Yeah, the fucking... Nobody saw anything. I'm going to just edit me dying out. <laughs> We're going to call this a deathless Aladdin run, right? Whether you like it or not. Yes. Well, see, that time I only took one hit. Motherfucking man. Whatever. All right, so grab that. So, by the time this airs, everybody will be well familiar with exactly how bad Pixels is. Oh, man. It came out two weeks ago now, and something like that. It's gonna be months eating... old by the time we, by the time this airs. That's true. Um, I'm sorry, <laughs> it's my fault. Um, but it's it's it, legendarily. I, I, bad. I haven't seen it, but like every review, every review I've seen for it talks about how uh, how much of an unmitigated disaster it is. Oh yeah, it's legendarily bad already, and it's only been out for a couple weeks. I have like I haven't seen a review give it more than two stars yet. You saw someone give it two stars? I know. Um, I'm pretty sure they wandered into the wrong theater. Oh, <laughs> they actually wound up seeing I don't know what's a two star movie. I don't even fucking know. Keep going. Um, but yeah, so everybody's aware of how bad that is, and that's getting a lot of press as a terrible movie. Uh huh. But you know what I haven't seen get a lot of press for being a terrible fucking movie? What? Uh, fucking Fantastic Four, but it's getting worse reviews than a movie that, like, I have heard nothing but unbelievably bad things about. Well, I mean, pretty much everyone expected that it was going to be shit, right? The Fantastic Four movie? Yeah, by the way, that was a boss. Was it? Yes. <laughs> Actually, it was a mini boss. But yeah, no, I think everyone expected that movie to be crap. Yeah, but it's apparently worse than Pixels, but Pixels is... Pixels is getting all sorts of love. Like, everybody is talking about how bad that movie is. Yeah. But you're not actually seeing a lot of that for uh, for Fantastic Four, even though it got way worse reviews. Yeah. Like, uh, I think on Rotten Tomatoes, it's like 8%. Oh, God. Uh, I actually, I saw somebody, but I, I did see somebody on Facebook yeah. talking about how in a couple of years... Yeah. They have the, they 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 can picture this perceived conversation they're of having ah, they're having with someone else mm -hmm. of them saying hey you know what just for kicks what if we went back and watched that uh, the Fantastic Four movie uh, w w which one you know the the bad one which one you know the one where they they make they they, they treat Doctor Doom so badly it makes you want to scream and rage for the love of God which movie are you talking about. You know, the one that they made for the express purpose of holding on to just tell me what color the human torch is. <laughs> oh, but it's so fucking true, right? Because, I mean, that's the only reason that movie exists is to hold on to the movie rights so that Marvel can't take their goddamn toys back. Yeah, the only reason <laughs> that exists is so that Marvel can't make good movies. It uh, Sometimes it fucking feels like it. Like, all I want is a good... Well, I won't say a good X-Men movie, because we've had a couple of good X-Men movies. We've had a couple of acceptable X-Men movies. Yeah. I don't want to call them good. <laughs> okay. But the other problem is, is that um, Fox has, like, eaten up all the good Fantastic Four movie names now. You can't call it Fantastic Four, because we already have... Two of those? Two fucking sets of Fantastic Four movies. I would like one good Fantastic Four movie before I die. <laughs> Well, if Fox keeps making them to hold out of the rights, you may never see that. Also, Sebastian. Yep. 
Um, no, it's 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 killing me. It really is because. Well, I mean, we're getting the same fucking thing with Spider-Man. Although eventually, Sony fucking reneged on that one and gave uh, Marvel at least the rights to use them. Well, because I think. This Sony, may... Sony Japan basically looked at what Sony North America is doing and said, what the fuck? No, no, you know what? Go back to Marvel and play ball. Do you think that's what happened? Uh, from, every, from the rumors that I heard, yes. Wow, because my assumption was just that Sony finally realized, wow, we could make a lot of move, money off this movie, and we are really bad at this. But it's entirely possible that, yeah, it's as bad as, like, Sony uh, Japan going back and saying, no, you had your shot, do it their way. Which would just be depressing. Also, that uh, that skeleton was wearing Mickey ears. Did I mention there were a lot of Easter eggs in this game? Apparently. Which I'm totally okay with. I love little references like that. So, this level is a level that I will sometimes die on, because I'm not super great at it. So far, things seem to be going better than normal, he said as he fell down. After trying to jump onto a platform, which is literally the only thing that you have to do in PLATFORMERS! <sighs> the other, you know what the other one is? What's the other one? All right, so let's talk about all the movies, all all the properties that Marvel doesn't own the rights to. Okay, so that would be Fantastic Four, uh, X Men. You're counting on your fingers. No one can see that. Nope. <laughs> okay. I'm just, I'm keeping track for myself. Okay, so Fantastic Four, X Men. Yep. Uh, anything else to do with mutants? So yep. X Factor, X Force, all that shit. Apparently, they're making an X Factor movie, or an X. Yeah, X Factor. Well, X Factor would be the the important one there. Um, actually, I don't even know what lineup they would use because X Factor was basically a rotating door. Um, so yeah, anything to do with mutants, Gambit, uh, which is being made, and there were rumors that apparently Channing Tatum wasn't going to be in it. Thank God those turned out to be false because as much as some people might think that he's not the right guy, dude, he's the right guy. And did I show you the clip of him on Ellen where he was talking about the Cajun accent? Nope. Wait, maybe. That sounds like a thing that you showed me, but I don't remember it. Oh, okay. Well, he's not from... Um, Louisiana? Louisiana specifically, but he grew up right... Uh, I don't know if he was in... I don't remember which state he grew up in, but he grew up in one of the states adjacent to Louisiana. So he has a lot of experience with people who talk that way. And he has a pretty fucking solid Cajun accent. Like, when he was doing it, I showed it to Erica because Gambit is, like, Erica's favorite X-Man. Um, and she is seriously protective of, uh, of him and the way that he's treated. So when I showed her that, that was what won her over, um, was his Cajun accent, because he's got it nailed. And also, he's a bankable action star right now, so fucking yeah, put him in a good movie! You, uh, you stopped counting off properties. Sorry, because, I mean, it really just these days comes down to Fantastic Four and Mutants. That's it. Um, also technically Spider-Man still. Technically Spider-Man, but the thing is, is that they now can use him. Um, but here's the other one. I, th mm -hmm. I don't remember if they got this one back. Did they get Ghost Rider back? Oh, I don't know, Mir. I, I don't know. Because the problem is, is that I like Ghost Rider as a, as a character. Yeah. Shit. Oh man, did they make some bad Ghost Rider movies? They did. They made and, like, some. Why? Why cast Nicolas Cage? Why did they? Why did they specifically go into that? Going, you know what we should do? Cast the actor everybody thinks of as a joke. <laughs> How long we got on this episode here? Uh, looks like we're just coming in on twenty now. <laughs> okay, thank you for that. <laughs> All right, so join us next time when we finish this level and go to the Cave of Wonders. Because there's only three spaces that things come from. They can only come from the top, the bottom, and the middle. And really? <sighs> I bet they can only come at you in the at the beginning. That's middle not the fairy. That's not the. What are you doing? Fairies cost like five bucks. Are for real? <laughs> oh God. Oh,